See, one of the things that's kind of confusing in France, uh, excuse me, my mouth is anesthetized, so it's hard to speak, is like, how do you open and close doors? Now, to get out of this place where my dentist is, it says sortie, which means exit, and I have to push this, and then walk over here to the gate, which is rather far away, and then it should open. Well, it's not opening. Let me try it again. You see? It can be a little bit complicated. Bloop. Let's see if it works now. There we go. I am free. So I have to come back to the dentist next week. Um, found a third cavity. So this one was about 57 euros. And, um... This was a different female dentist from the one I saw last time. And uh, they're very good here. The way things work now in France, as far as I understand it, is when I came here in 1994, because I was here legally, I mean, I declared my presence and I respected the laws and everything. Um, and I got married which didn't give me the right to anything. It didn't make me French. It, it, it gave me the right to work, but... Oh, well, there's a little piece of candy. But uh, it didn't give me a work permit or anything. Uh, I could have gone to the city hall and asked in advance for a voucher to go see a doctor had I been sick. Now, that probably probably would have taken all day. And the doctor would have accepted the voucher as payment and would have given me another voucher, which I could have taken to the pharmacy to get whatever medicines I needed. And I didn't know that that existed. And my husband didn't know either. Um, but that was long ago, nearly 20 years ago. From what I understand, that system no longer exists. And you have to be here, I think, well into your sixth year to qualify for basic benefits and out of the money I wrote a check for today and they wouldn't accept a debit card it had to be a check or cash on the spot and they needed my little French carte vitale which is this little chipped plastic card um, and if you lose it like I did last year, it's a big problem. Uh, what will happen is we will be wired the money, whatever Social Security here is going to pay, and whatever they don't cover will be covered either by my husband's stopgap insurance, which he gets as, at a, as a benefit, at his job or else my stopgap insurance for which I pay because I have a new small business and it's pretty expensive you know uh, it's not a giveaway here you know I don't think a lot of Americans understand you know they food stamps don't exist here the basic welfare benefit here for whether you're just down and out or disabled or whatever is not enough to live on. And people are always complaining about that. But, you know, that's how it is. You know, you don't want to be on benefits here. And about a third of the people here in France who qualify for basic welfare benefits don't even go and get them. They're really too proud to accept them, and it's too much hassle, and it's so little money, you know. I, I know a couple of people, not personally, but I've had contact with them in the United States, and they've told me what their basic welfare benefit is and uh, per month, and it's a lot less here in France, and generally speaking I would say the cost of living is more expensive here but you know it's like the United States it depends on where you are 
All right, so this is my fascinating day. The storm has stopped. It has stopped raining. And I'm going back home. See you later, alligator. Bye.